Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, March 13th. I am here at the Brighton Unit 2101, the Chapman Unit. Uh, sorry I didn't get dressed up for the occasion. Uh, I'm on the run today. So I'm gonna try to hammer out all these inspection items quickly, just so everybody's on the same page. This is the her side of the bath. This thing I've noticed from the very, very start is not in line. That should be off for whatever reason. They are not set in the same direction as far as being off. So that should be an easy fix. Under here, they said there's a little bit of leak in this pipe. I can feel where the wood has kind of swelled a little bit and gotten a little um, rough from water leakage. So there is something there. It's not much, that's for sure. They said there's corrosion here at the pipe for the steam. This is the unit for the steam, which there is. I can feel it and it actually, you can see that there. I already did that once. So there is something going on with that. They're saying that the steam shower did not function. You know, I don't deal with these a whole lot. So I'm sure we can get somebody to test it. I just don't know who. So we can we can work on that one as far as the, the steam part of that bath, which goes around obviously to the other side, George's side. So we'll get, try to research that one. So. They're saying the drain is clogged and, and that's not functioning properly. All right, so again, we'll work on that. Um, there was one light in here that does not work, which I've noticed from the very beginning. I even tried to change it the other day. Those things are not easy to pull out, so I'm sure there's a trick to them. Um, I think there's some extra lights in the laundry room, so we can work on that. This space had a couple goofy ones, the fireplace. Uh, to my knowledge, I remember asking Leslie about it. She wasn't aware of how to turn it on or she's never really used it. I thought there was an instruction manual around here um, that I found at one point, but I don't see it now, so maybe it got moved out. I can Google this, the Echo Smart, and you know the skew on it and try to pull it up online. Usually you can find um, your user manuals online and see if we can get that working. Um, until we try it, I'm not really sure what else to say about it. So we'll work on that. Um, this is the spot they found that they said had microbial growth. Uh, super, super small. You know, if we got to paint it, kills it and paint over just that one little strip, that won't be hard at all. That is the HVAC vent that they're saying is blowing into the slider. I mean, that's just the building design. We're not, I mean, should it be coming out over here on this side? Maybe, but we didn't design the building and that's just the way that it is. So, um, seems silly. Again, stuff that these in inspectors point out, I try not to blame them because they're just doing their job. It's more, in my opinion, more on to the agent. So in this case, Mitch Williams to kind of like decipher what they put down on those inspection reports and make some common sense of like, okay, what's cosmetic? What what should we ask to be fixed, right? So I'm working with Mitch now to say, hey man, some of this stuff is super ticky tack, super minor per the contract. You know, it's cosmetic, we shouldn't be doing it. So I'm hoping he's gonna X some of this stuff off. All right, here's the ice machine. Um, remember Leslie telling us that she had turned it off on purpose so they didn't have to deal with the leaks. It is set to the off position. I doubt she ever tried she being the inspector ever tried it. I did pull it out from here. That's why some of that dust and stuff is there. It does seem to be plugged in. It does seem to be hooked up to the water line. I would like to try it again to see if it works. It needs to be cleaned out a little bit, but I only want to do that if I'm here for a more extended period of time, because if it does happen to leak, I don't want it going all over this wood floor. That would be a disaster. So we can try that. We're just going to have to really be careful with when we do it. All right, this one is super minor as well. This is the powder room. This is the water stain. And this actually happened. I was here when this happened, when they were redoing the vent stacks, the piping from the building. That's when the airflow was coming through here and it was actually dripping down through here one day. I happened to be here when it happened. So, I mean, again, if we have to paint this little powder room and get a magic eraser or something to clean up those stains, we'll do it. But again, I'm trying to get some of these things off of the punch list just so, um, you know, we don't feel like we're having to do every little thing for these people. This was a rough spot here in the sink. I literally scrubbed it off myself. It's not even there. There's one little spot here that I couldn't get off, but like, I just did that. I just did that myself. So that's pretty much already done. We can work on that a little more, but um, that should be an easy fix. There's one light out here on the patio. 
that does not work and I have noticed that I have never been able to get it on myself. So that's two lights that need to be fixed and we should at least prove that yes, those lights work. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Um, this bathroom had the cracked toilet seat, which has always been like that to my knowledge. It's cracked at the top as well. I've always noticed it cracked, so easy, easy fix, no problem. The spot in the corner that they're saying has cracked grout is that one there. Super, super minor. I mean, that's that's getting picky, picky again. You know, per the contract that has special language in there of cosmetic items and cracked grout happens to be one of them. So we'll see what type of response I get from Mitch. I'm um, hoping we get some common sense, common sense in play on this one. Um, the carpet is this piece here. It's pulled up. I don't think you're going to be able to stretch it. There's just, there doesn't seem to be, you know, that's not going to happen. Um, you can put a threshold, what they call a threshold piece that goes in there. Um, you know, I think it'd be unnecessary trying to get Mitch to, you know, say whether or not they're going to replace the carpet. If they're going to replace the carpet, none of it really matters, right? This washing machine said to be cracked. It is. It's got some funny stuff going on with this washing machine. There is no doubt. There is a, like an indentation or crack there. I can feel it with my finger. I can feel it over here. You know, that the hairline cracks go down here. There's some hairline cracks over here. And there's one like right inside this hinge joint. So it's got some funny stuff going on with this washer. I will run it when I have more time. I'll come back when I have more time and try the ice maker, try this and see, you know, they say it leaks. Um, we'll see, I'm gonna, you know, defer to after I try it, but if it leaks, it leaks. It does seem to have have some cracks in it, which is which is odd. Um, so that one might need to be replaced. Let's see. Let me get this out to see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Bear with me, real quick. The radon. I'm having that guy come tomorrow. I've been airing the place out as much as possible. Uh, the stuff down in the bathroom cabana. I'm gonna tell them, you know, obviously with your approval that the cabana is, you know, as is where is. We're not messing with that. Minus they say there's one leak. Um, that maybe we should get taken care of because you don't want any water water leaks. Okay, we talked about that. I talked about the cracked. Oh, the, the drains. Yeah, we can clear those out. I didn't actually find which patio they're on. I'll look for that, uh, but that should be an easy fix. Electrical, that's for the cabana. The HVAC system, this definitely needs to be done. Um, I actually replaced all the filters myself. I went to Home Depot and bought new filters. They were really, really grimy. But the door, dirty coils, and they said there's some duct work. Has some loose seams that needs to be repressurized. So we should definitely take care of that. The dirty filters I did, we talked about that one, the rust. Um, that's down in the cabana again. Um, the lights we talked about. There's a living room ground that's damaged so we could get that done. That wouldn't be too difficult. The ice maker will check that we talked about the little spot. The blower, the crack in the washing machine. That's the steam shower, the caulking around the toilet. I didn't show you that, but that's pretty simple. Uh, leaky drain um, and the master, we talked about that. And then the steam unit. Some of this stuff is back to the cabana. Cabana, cabana, powder room, we talked about that. Um, and then the one outlet on the patio. So that's the whole punch list, all right? I hope that helps everybody get a better idea of what's going on and, and you know, what what can get taken care of when I get a better idea of the ice maker and the washing machine I'll let you know but we got we got time on some of those but you know the the steam shower would be the other one and the HVAC so those are the two that you know the trust can really um, take hold and you know you can have the AC person get a hold of me directly I don't know who you usually use I'll get them in the steam shower I'll research you know maybe who to contact unless you have somebody all right um, that's it talk to everybody soon